This is the XF 56mm f1.2. It's an 85mm equivalent in the full frame world. Its aperture ranges from f1.2 to f16. It has 11 elements in 8 groups, HT EVC multi-layer coating to reduce ghosting and flaring, and a rounded 7 bladed aperture. Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and it's the review of the XF 56mm f1.2. And this was the first lens I bought when I got the Fuji system and it's by far the most unique lens. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most fastest focusing lens, but it is f1.2. And as far as lenses that are around the 85 millimeter equivalent, this lens is probably one of the smallest you're gonna find. Um, if you've been looking at the Sony system, the 85 millimeter G Master, uh, that lens is huge, it's a monster. So this lens, way smaller, you know, and you probably have seen the Canon 85 millimeter f1.2. So this lens is much smaller, but has a lot of the same features. Now obviously you're not gonna get the same background compression that you would with a full frame camera and an 85 millimeter lens, but you will get the same kind of focal length and you'll get a nice creamy background blur with this f1.2. Now as far as sharpness is concerned, if you can peg the focus, this lens is amazing. You've got this tiny little blade of focusing uh, that you actually get with an f1.2 lens. So being able to actually nail it is kind of tough sometimes, especially if your subject's moving. So this lens is made for portraiture and probably for someone that's not moving around too much. And if they're not moving around and you can peg the eye on this thing, oh man, it looks amazing. Uh, build quality of this lens is solid metal, plastic aperture ring, just like the rest of the Fuji lenses. But it's a little bit heavier than most of the Fuji lenses, but like I said, it's a big chunk of glass. But it actually bounces pretty nice on the X-Pro2. Um, like I said, it's a little heavy, but it's not that bad. So I've got to test this lens out on a lot of photo shoots now and like everything else I've used from Fuji, it's magic. So take a look at the test samples and let me know what you think. So as you can see, the background blur is amazing. The bokeh is really nice with this lens. And I wanna show sharpness now, so I gotta do the boring sharpness test just to show you what it's like in the center and the corners. And I think you'll be pretty surprised at what it looks like at f1.2. I know I was. Okay, starting in the center at f1.2, f1.8. And by f2.8, you can see the vignetting's gone. f5.6, it's pretty much sharp all the way through until f16. Okay, so right in the dead center, zoomed into 100%. And you can see it's pretty sharp even at f1.2 up to 5.6. Okay, so let's go to the top left corner. It's a little bit blurry in the far corner. It starts to sharpen up around 5.6. All right, so now I wanna show focus speed and the sound of the focus motor, it's a little bit noisier. So I put a mic over top of the lens and you'll be able to see what it sounds like. All right, so I thought it would be good to show continuous focusing with this lens because it's not quite the fastest. So I'm gonna cut through here through eight frames per second, slow down and just show you the way that it tracked focus. I actually found that the closer she got, the worse it was for trying to track focus. So this lens does only have a seven bladed aperture, but I think because of how shallow depth of field you can get with this lens, you don't really notice it. And I find that the bokeh balls are actually pretty round, except for the outer edges where they start to go kind of teardrop shaped. But all in all, this lens is amazing. And if you're looking for an 85 millimeter equivalent lens, this is probably your best bet. So if you're thinking about getting into the mirrorless system, I would say go with Fuji and get this lens if you're looking for something for portraiture, because like I said, the Sony stuff is too huge. Like those lenses are massive. You might as well be using a DSLR. 
Um, I've used the Canon 85 millimeter f1.2 and it doesn't even come close to how sharp this lens is. And I think it's just because of age. Fuji's lenses are a lot newer, so the technology's there, whereas Canon stuff is a little bit older. Don't get me wrong, the Canon stuff is amazing, but uh, I don't want any haters. But uh, for my test, this lens is much sharper. This lens isn't weather sealed. Um, unfortunately, it's not like the newer ones where they are all weather sealed, but I can't see this being too big of a problem. Like I said, the build quality is amazing. You probably can get a little bit of water on it and it's probably not gonna hurt anything, but it doesn't have that rubber gasket at the back like the other ones do. And uh, so yeah, don't try and run through a rainstorm with this thing. Amazing lens, amazing build quality, amazing image quality. Fuji doesn't pay me anything to say this. This is just my experience and I've been loving the system so far. And you know, if you really wanna get this lens, it's not the cheapest lens ever, but it's also not the most expensive lens, especially when you get into this kind of tier of lens, you know, when you're getting into the F1.2 category. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you loved it, thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down twice, and I'll see you in the next one.